All right, good. And I got here, so I can show you some of them. Okay, you good. Okay. All right, okay. Okay, now, you want to go through a little quick one on the uh, silum tap. Relax, okay, and good. Open your stand down there, okay. All right, double cross and elbow push. Good, and straight back. Okay, you, you see me clear? Good. I see very clear. Okay, good. Yeah, clear. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Good. Your left, and then your left hand move to the middle. Good. Relax it, elbow, push forward. Very good. You open your hand, and you do that circle soft. Yeah, circle as loose and better. Elbow pull back. All right, since you are from there, I turn this way. You stay there. Look at the pole, look at my elbow. I'm going to pull back. I'm always trying to keep the elbow at the lowest point. I don't do circle and pull like we normally do like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we pull it and try to keep the elbow at low level. Elbow always have to be on the lower than your fist. Because if somebody pull my hand from the elbow, I push it out again to the punch. Mm -hmm. So don't do the circle. A lot of... Uh, style when they print it, they make your hand like a circle motion is no good because when you do circle motion, uh, it will lose the pulling power. Yeah, so I just pull straight back and hold it like that. So that here, straight back, hold it. Yes. Same thing on the other side is that with your right punch go in and then we do the push. Good. You have your pizza turn in. And elbow pull. Good. You open your hands out. Very slow. Bring it back to the front. There. And then we'll do circle. Okay. Good. Bring it back. Drop your hand. Do the push. Mm -hmm. Soft circle. Bring it back and elbow push. Very soft. Keep your breathing normal. In and out by your nose. Good, good, good. Turn. Bring it back. One more time. And then clean out. Sit. Bring it back. From here, we do the first block, pack. So, we'll bring it back here, and then you do the strike, palm strike. Good. We we'll turn your hand, and we do that circle. And again, elbow pull. Okay, before you go on the other side, one thing you notice, anytime we do the breathing out, in and out from your nose, and you try to get your body, so when we do slow, we don't move the hand. If I do wrong, you see this, I'm breathing hard, my hand will move with me. We try to not do that. When you're breathing so hard, and then your body move, your hand move. Beginning, you want to keep it, breathe in and out like Tai Chi, like a hairline. So my hand is not supposed to move at all, not supposed to be up and down. That's why the breathing has to be slowly and quiet. Yes? There you go. Now on your right hand, say, hands out, slow, very good, circle, back, then we have a focus out, slowly push and breathe in, slowly, pins out. Good. Then focus out. Again, then pin out. Then focus out. Very good. Last one. Pin out. 
in the back. Then the block, right to the shoulder stop, go back to the center. Use that elbow force, straight palm strike. Good. Remember the thumb, we always a little bit control. Good. We don't hold it hard, but they're not supposed to be separate. So hold it control. And return your hand back this way, circle, and bring back. Good. That's in the part that we need to go slow and control it. Second part from the left side, straight down, explosive to the size of your body. Good. Then slide your hand behind it, close to your body, like that, really close. Okay, then push back and downward. I put downward motion and reducing my elbow force. Good. So my idea would not try to push that way, try to, yeah. Okay, good. Then you move your hand, place it both sides of your body. Good. Forward push. Good. And cross your hand, left on top. Make sure the finger line up with this elbow. Okay, so right now we have this. Okay, try to line it up in. Good. Now what happened is, this line up elbow to the finger, it defines your frame. So when you have a perfect line up like this, your body creates a little square structure. Any force coming into that square will be reflected out of your hip. If you have it like this, or like that, the square is not perfect. Square, any force come in, they go back to your shoulder, right? That's why we want the finger right to your elbow. Now both sides, chop. Good. Now bring back the switching hand. We have the right hand on top. We'll slowly move to the front and then hit. Okay, you stay there. I go here, you see that I turn. My idea, hit forward, hit forward. I don't mean to hit down, we just hit forward to somebody to the neck area, like this. Good. And then we're watching the elbow is always closed, they never be out. Very good. Now from here, we turn your hand slightly that way, and then you use an elbow, pull down. Pull, and then strike up. Good. Do a little circle motion, and raise your hand up. Eyebrow level. Eyebrow, don't go too high. Eyebrow, stop there. Good, then open both hands. Do that double circle in and pull back. Good, watching the elbow doesn't go up, elbow still down. Good, do that part one more time. Left, right, in the back, in the front. Cross hand, left on top, muscle chop, bring back, strike. Forward. Good. Forward. Uh, hand away to it more. Make sure your frame is parallel, so not out too much. Yeah. Yes. Good. Turn your hand down, face down, pull. Strike. Okay. We'll soft circle and lift your hand. Very good. Open your hand. And we do that circle turn and I will pull. How's that? It's good? All right. Good. Last part of your left in front of your chest. A block in hand. I make sure when I place my hand, I have the space here. I don't put close to my chest when I'm blocking. It's all the way there. This is, will be our second hand in the box. Anytime we're doing the drill blocking, our hand will come close to your chest. That's why in the form, we want to make sure that the space is there. Good. From now, we do the block. Block to the other side and strike straight to the front, circle, in the back. Good, same on the other hand. Block, block, and strike, circle, in the back. Good, and then you have that same block, but now come out full speed, like a real block, from my hip, forward to the front, like that. Good, yes. Bring your hand back close to your body. Okay, now we use an elbow, down block. Very good. Up to the front block again. Do a little circle wrist turning and strike to the ribcage area. Yeah, Soft your hand and bring back. Same thing. Fast block, bring it close, down block. 
back to the front again. Then you do that circle and strike to the rib cage. Very good. And then we take your hand, bring it back. Last part, elbow block. Remember the angle we remind, more than 90 degrees. Yes, a bit higher. So the punt come in, this one is about shoulder flex level. Okay, if we go too low, then it's gonna be hurt the shoulder. If we go too high, then they punch low. So the point when the person punching, it should be lined up down to my shoulder flex level. Uh huh. Yes. Then from here, you drop your elbow down to protect this area. Elbow drop down. Good. And then we strike up. Circle. Bring it back in. Same on the other elbow. Bring it out. Okay. It's nothing about the shoulder, it's just the elbow. Drop your elbow down. Good. Now, if I turn this way, you can see my, my center line. When we drop down, we have to protect the hand. So a lot of people, when they drop it, they drop to the side and they, they leave it open. We make sure we drop it, our hand protect. Very good. And then from here, we strike up. Take the hand circle. Bring back. Very good. Last part is bring your hand right to the center. Okay. We take one hand up, one hand palm down. We turn and push. Good. Turn the bottom hand and push top hand down. Repeat one more time. Turn and push. Good. Back hand now will be punching. Front and your back hand punch. Back hand punch again. Good. Bring your hand back in. That's it. Step back in. And then we add your form. Good. So it's just an exercise. When we do the form every day, like Tai Chi idea, we do every day. <coughs> you see when I do very smooth, just think about Tai Chi. We don't need a lot of force. I just go one time, you can see the speed that we want to do. Don't need to be hard, it's just a motion. It'll give you that cut up. It's like in Tai Chi, every day we do that as an exercise. Very smooth right. and flow. So they give you that kind of, yeah? So when yes. we learn, we learn yes. slow, but when we think that, okay, morning, before our bed, do that, that form like that. It's just to program our hand. It's like a reflex right. you do, right? It's like every day after work, I like bicycle, I go around the neighbor. So after that, mm -hmm. it, says, it doesn't matter. It's a uh, 10 year, I don't have bicycle, I don't forget. <laughs> and I know how to do bicycle already. Right? <laughs> It's like that. It's something easy for it don't have to be look like we hit something hard, but that the motion you do hand, the motion you do this, something coming, mm -hmm. your hand will react like that, right? That's why right, we right. right. it's not stiff, it's the not hard, like karate, it's supposed to be flow in motion. Yes? Mm -hmm. That's why we always start with the form like that. Even uh we're just thinking of like a tai chi just for help, but then we'll give you your hand that uh, that reflex. Okay? Right. All right, right good. Right. Now from the form, take the single move and practice it now to use it. So for example, okay, take back to this move. When you have that move, okay? In the chest, you have that move, back and hit in the form. So take that move at the practice. I, I turn this way, so you see how we practice that move in the fight. When the fight come in, then definitely when you do this with your body turn, block. Body turn, yes? And when you hit, you go with the body. Good, same thing. So in the form, we only teach you this, come back and straight. That not in the fight. The fight, I gotta turn the block. I got to turn the block. There you go. So now we apply that with your body, turn and block. Give it a little bit of your hip and elbow. Hip and elbow. Turn. Okay. The only thing we wanna make sure that we still keep the rules and don't, don't hit too hard and then my hand too far from my body. So they stop right here and then they hit right to the person. Yeah, so that form is when you do this part here, there. But what we're using, we turn the body, the block, and then from the blocking point, okay, we actually come hit straight to the face. Very good, so do that a few loops. Very soft, block, hit, block, and straight forward. 
Good. So let's say somebody go grab my shoulder and one block, and then I hit. One block, then hit. That's the move. I don't need to actually know when, okay, the arm block, I punch it. No, no, no. It is a reflex. When somebody grab my shoulder, I one hit the hand and I hit. So what, what we teach us here is we don't want to be so hard that my hand too far from my body. Just enough to knock his hand and go back to the face. That's the application you want to practice. The different what we are using and in the form is I want my hip turn at the same time so we get more power, yeah? The form don't turn, but now when you actually apply them, we want to do that with the turn. You add in more of your body. That's the first move, pack so. And then when you learn that, it's lean now. If I can do that with my punch forward, that's the first technique we learn. A block and punch it. A block and punch it. So both hand, one hand block, one hand hit it. One hand block, one hand hit it. The first technique, pack that. One hand push it, one hand punch it. Yes, when you're good, it doesn't matter. Um, you can do with a punch, or you can just one here and one palm <coughs> It doesn't matter. A palm try will look the same. Okay? Just a palm, Lisa. Just a palm will be good enough. Okay? So we don't have to make it first. Okay? Like some, some people come, and I see some young one, well, they have a nail and everything. Okay, they cannot punch. Then the palm is good. Replace that technique with the palm. It doesn't matter, right? Or let's say you have a, a key. A key in the pocket. All right, I'm locked and I get the key. The same thing with this technique. The Wen Chang teach you don't don't copy. In Wen Chang, we hate to copy. We don't want to copy anyone. If, 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 we, if the person do exactly like the seafood, we call them monkey copy. <laughs> we don't copy. Them. Yeah. We understand and we do our way. That's how we learn Chang. Right. So whatever, one hand block, one hand punch forward. That is the foundation. That uh, uh, Office or technique, pack that. But if your hand be easy, my hand have something that I don't make the first, maybe it hurt, I don't want to punch, then you just do the same thing with the palm strike. That mm -hmm. also called pack that. One block, one push. Now, you don't want to use a palm, replace that with the finger. Let's say somebody push me again the wall, I don't have the force from here. Can you pick me again the wall? Then I have less force, I use my finger. Now, that's why now he hurt more. Ah, so you can have different weapon, whatever come in your hand. Could be a finger, or people teach. Could be a palm strike, okay? Could be a punch. So that means like that, one stop, one hit. One stop, one hit. Okay, ah, so the logic in one stop, one hit, one stop, one hit. Okay, a pack that. Now, a pack that also have two different lines. One line what you hit from outside of his hand. We call outside pack that. We do in class. We call outside pack that. So I punch you, you block here, you hit me from here, call outside pack that. Yeah. There's another yes. one called inside pack that. I show you all this. So this one called inside pack that. When this is outside pack that. Inside pack that is with the hand right here. We go here, but we hit from the inside. So this is called inside pack. Yes? Uh, so mm -hmm. the hand can be defaulted like this. But we cannot hit them, so we pin this hand, but we hit from the inside. Mm -hmm. Inside mm -hmm. pack. Okay? Inside pack. Yeah. yeah, give me one second. One second. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so. Mm -hmm. So this is the arm, okay? Yes. Uh, is there any <coughs> she's in the washroom? Yeah. Yeah, maybe she can have it. Okay. You okay, Lisa? <laughs> yes, okay. So, mm -hmm. Okay. So, so outside. The reason I'm why out. is normally what you wanted. If my hand like this, you can put this hand out and hit. We do it in class. Yes. That's another yes. way where somebody already put your hand really hard and we're going to fight with them. Then you actually, you still trap the hand, but you hit under. It's like that. Inside. Inside. Or you can do the same, but you hit under right here. That's also called pack that. I can hit him down to the stomach. He go here, we hit low. 
À, so mm -hmm. Wing Chun teach you, if he hand low, I hit to a face. If he hand really like a boxing, I hit him down here. All right, oh, and his okay. hand like, like this. So it's very tricky, the Wing Chun. They just, we just apply the rules. We don't copy the technique. So the mm -hmm. same tactic that the people can use differently, depends. If that person really high, I'm packed at him right to his ribcage. Why would I need to hit him? Because if he's so tall, I'm not going to go try to get him in the face. So pack that mean right. like just block yeah, and yeah. hit together. Could be in the face, could be down to the ribcage. That's called pack that. Yes? Uh, yes. And it means like that. So, so when you understand the Chinese terminology, you were easy to, 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 uh, to translate to your understanding. It just means one mm -hmm. hand stop. Pin him and one hand hit it. That's it. They call pack that. One hand pin and one hand punch. The, the name doesn't tell you to punch him in the face or I can punch him to the groin. I punch him to the rib. They leave it to us. Uh -huh. Right? Uh, uh -huh. So it, it's flexible. That pack that. Now the lap that. The second one, lap that. When the punching become unsuccessful, maybe he blocked it. Maybe he blocked it. Now uh -huh. I... I become pull him. Now we have lap that. Is that right? When we go yes. home on the same street, I want to go home the same way until I get traffic jam. Right? Until the traffic block, I turn. I turn, take another way because my main way is traffic block. Right? Uh, so if nothing right. happened, pack that is your way. I punch in your pack that. I'm attack your pack and punch. That is the way we go. We go straight in, unless now I'm sub block. When I start resisted, then you turn and wrap my hand. So that's catching technique we call lapta. Lapta. Lapta come because of that. Because of one of the other technique fail, now we have, we change in the plan. Now I cannot go forward, now I'm turned, right? I go forward, yeah. I fail, then I turn, but lap that. So lap that means the front hand. That's why I said lap that. You have to pull from the front hand because the front hand now attack meaning block. Take that hand. Right. Yes, the yes. front hand come yes. in meaning block. That I will take that. That's why I call lap that hand from the front hand. If you cap from the back hand, it 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 not for that purpose because the front hand being blocked. So the wind chong would use that exactly what we already have, which is the front. That's why they're more convenient, isn't it? I block you, yes. use my front hand. I block your attack, you use your front hand. That's called lap that. So lap that practice like this. You can practice it in the air by, on the punch, take the punch pole, punch with the back hand. Take the hand in front, wrap, punch with the back hand. Good. If you do the beginning, you can do punch, pull and punch. When you get good, do that together. Lap that. Lap that, pull and punch again. Good. When you're good, add in your hip and pull and punch together. That's called lap that. And if you have a wooden dummy, you have the arm. Yes. Easier to have the arm. That's why the lap that comes like that. Is that good? All right. Yes. The next one, we're adding the elbow block, the bong so block. Now we have combined the name called bong, lap that. So pull and punch. But before the punch, now, instead of he block my hand, I do lap that. Now he punch me, I do my elbow block. Okay, it's like a, it's like a wing. I'm blocked because he punch it, do the elbow block. Then now we wrap and punch, so that one called bong lap. That. Okay, there you go. And anytime you bring your elbow up, we want the back hand, these are the back hand is already there. I do the front hand. Don't forget the back hand is a happy hand. That will take okay. that and then we punch it. Hey, good. Same thing. I do that with my hip turn. Turn your hip together. Good. Take it. Punch. And take it and then punch. Good. So the first turn, we need your hip turn to get more power. And then I will take this and then I punch him. So that technique called bomb lap that. Elbow turn. Elbow turn. And the back hand grab it. This hand drop down. Punch. Bomb lap. Perfect. The other side. Long. Take your hand, punch. Very good. Anytime you do the elbow, you make sure you turn your hip together so we have more of your momentum. Very good. Yes. All right. So our elbow block different with the karate. Karate like to stay there and block with 
straight up. No, we want to do it and turn your body. So we don't want to take too much force to turn the body. Take your hands and punch. Very good. Turn the other side. Elbow the other side. Take your hand, then punch. Same thing. That could be a chop. Elbow block. Take this hand and chop to a to the neck, which we did the last time. So elbow block. Take this chop right to the throat, right here. Yes. Very good. Block right to the throat. Block. Take your hand. Chop to the throat. Good. Same thing. Block the other hand. Take the hand, chop to the throat. There you go. So that's called bong like that, or bong so and chop. Yes? That's the technique? Yes. Good. Low attack. Okay. We have that in the form. We have high block, and we have low block. High block, mm -hmm. low block. So high block here, when the people throw something like this, we are put the hand on high block and attack them at the same time. Yes. So they both come at the same time when you feel comfortable. Okay. Like that, okay. When when you do that, you want your body turn together to create some of the momentum. Moment. So when the force comes in, you want to face that angle by turning your body toward that. Yes, like that. And okay, you gotta turn your body like this. Good. When you good, anytime you throw the technique, you want to turn your hip. Good. You want from your hip out, both force. Good, hand up, hand up. All right, when we good, we have to make sure that it come from your hip, your hip loose, and send it very far. Yes, you don't want the whole part, you want to soft. Good, really and soft. yeah, soft, like that. Snap it a little bit further. Yes, exactly like that. Hand that. Yes, there you go. Thunder. If I slow down motion, it looks like a block in karate and then punch. But mm -hmm. the difference is we just throw both at the same time to save our time. So mm -hmm. that's a thunder. Is that good? All right. Very now, good. same thing. Same thing. When we work on thunder, again, thunder means a user elbow to block. Yes? It's not user shoulder. So if I raise it higher, like a shoulder block in karate, we don't want to use shoulder. You want to low down, so what impact force come here to, to be reflect out to my elbow, my hip, and down there was the leg and then the floor. So you want to, you want to absorb it to your elbow. If you raise really high up, that's the shoulder. That's the difference, right? right? Uh, you want to be soft. And that's why the Wing Chun technique look like soft, but they have a good structure using your body. Uh, if you raise it higher, then it become a shoulder. We don't want that, okay? So tanda is just low to here. That's why we do the form. You hand here, just a bit higher from here, and then we we then we actually attack. That's it. Okay. Now the question is: Some people maybe hit very high, maybe pass this hand to my face. So in this case your tanso become your beauty. Remember what we did last time? So anything mm -hmm. that goes higher than that. Okay, if they put it right here, I do that's it good. But now the hand maybe look like a bit higher down, then that bend from here become a straight hand. Which is we learned last time. That called BUG. Yes? So yes. So if now let's say somebody do like this, then I will straight your hand out. Okay? That's the shape, that shape from here becomes straight shape. Mm -hmm. So same thing, the force now hit to your hand will impact close to a little closer to your forearm to your elbow, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why so that the tan sao extend. That's it. When tan sao extend up. Sorry. I lost. I think I lost you. No, sorry. Okay. I got you. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> right. So same thing. If the tan sao low, I the hit like this, well our hand <clears throat> Our hand will be like that, yes? Good, which is we learn basic, all right? But if they go kind of a little bit like this, then you extend your hand straight. So now you have that technique we learned last time. Remember when you go last time, I said straight hand block? Yeah, that's the tensor, but it, now you see the pun go a little bit higher. So then you extend it, but the concept is the same. 
Take whatever they give you to your elbow. Take whatever head to your elbow. We don't want to take anything to your shoulder. Okay, so right now, right. You, straight, you straight the hand like that shape. Any impact right now should be go land somewhere for arm to the elbow. Good. When you get that mark, good. All right, either my choice is go down like that, punch him. So if I face you this, I have this high hand. So I will block like this on the hand, go in, go straight up to block this, and then you laugh there. That's last time when you do this, you laugh there. Yeah, so when yes. I punch in, it could be opposite hand with you, you just raise your hand up, okay, like that, and then you pull hand out, punch with the back hand. Good, all right, that will take care of even this one come in. If I go from the hook, you do say, you do say, extend your hand to take that. Okay, but now you're gonna to turn to Tanda. After the hook, you turn to Tanda. So if my hook come from here, you go up and then you turn to Tanda. Yeah, yeah, hook and then turn to Tanda. Yeah, hook and then you turn, yeah, perfect. So if that hand hook in, right? You say a hook, that hook, and then I turn to Tanda. Yeah, take the hook. And then you turn the tanda hip and back. There you go. This way, because he go with higher, far away, and you feel that it's not safe to go here, your, your hands are now become extended. Yes, it's a straight extend. Same. Yeah, it's straight out. But when you're straight out, the important thing is any force come in should not knock the hand away because we don't use mm -hmm. the hand. We have slightly elbow. In Wing Chun, always knowing a connection to your body is elbow and hip. Yeah, mm -hmm. so nothing about the yeah. strength of your arm, elbow and hip. So even the swing go very hard, you want to absorb it to your flow to your elbow, and then we turn back to the tanda. So now you have that. Okay, you have a beauty. All right, you can use a beauty and punch at the same time. You didn't do that here yet. You have tanda. No, we put that one. Okay, yeah. but you have beauty for a long distance attack. Long distance attack. I can use build to block. After that, we turn back and attack him back. Right? Good. You can do like Yuji. Okay. Yuji. Yuji. Good. Now, continue with the Yuji last time. Last time we do Yuji block. Yes? Yuji block. Yes. All right. Now, from the Yuji, from here, if I do Yuji like this, if I'm close to a face, I do back so <coughs> right away chop to a throw. Yeah? So I do this, you do a block. Okay. You can just, the second hand just slide. Hit right to the throat, or you can just punch, whatever convenient for you. So, beauty mm -hmm. right here, you block with that hand, you strike, you strike with the back hand, good, or you can punch. So, from the beauty, mm -hmm. you can have a punch. Beauty, you can use your elbow. If you're close enough, you use your elbow. Ah, uh, you can come in. Perfect. Beauty, elbow. Ah, uh, beauty, and elbow. Perfect. One hand block, elbow. Why not? One hand block, palm strike. Good. One hand block that attack, back hand palm strike right away. Right away. When you palm strike, this is about, this is the wind jump. I remember when I was in uh, 17. My time in 19, 19, 1980. All right. All right, 1980. When I was tired, long hair. These are not short hair, long hair. Right. Remember that time? Bruce Lee style, long hair. Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. That's, that's the style of long hair. My super do this. If Tom try hair pull. Heard a lot. And he said, that, that's the best Saudi plan. Beauty, Tom try hair pull. It's always hair really good. And, and that moves always work. It doesn't matter. All people learn that. Woman love that hair pulled out. It's always hurt. Okay, not that you are in here. I realize people have short hair. <laughs> but, uh, I can't use that one. <laughs> Does it work on her? Does it work on her? <laughs> yeah, it will work on her. Arms right, hair pull. That's why the hand there for. Okay, so you're going to okay. do palms right. <laughs> so when I come here, that one go and turn ear pull. All right, no more hair <laughs> pull no more. So when you do that hand, you get a convenient, a convenient of my hand right away, face. Well, we'll slide out hair pull, slide out yeah. ear pull, or even finger crash. 
Ok? Yeah. Bác sửa tham vì đồng ý đã hẹp hồ giáo hội một tích Tôi sẽ xin lại hẹp Hồng xoay Pull down The motion pull down mm -hmm. You can finger You can uh, uh, ear yeah. Whatever Hair Alright? So, All those <laughs> yeah. Palm Down yeah. Alright? Yeah. yeah View Palm Down yeah. um, That's it um, One hand block yeah. in What you got here? One block, one palm try first, pull down. That pull down with anything you want. The one hand right yeah. to him. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yes. Right. Now, if that move is a block and you chop like this chop, okay, if you chop like that, if you notice on this. So when I'm here, I do this and I chop. You see my hand up here? So if I chop from here, mm -hmm. I pull yes. the neck down. Then I pull the neck down with my knee. So if I do that, I chop across to the neck. Then and my hand now so cool. pull down to your knee. Okay, your hand convenient. Right. Convenient hand right to the neck. I do neck pull down to my knee. Pull in the so, knee. Yes? Yeah. So yes. the way one we use is like that. Whatever your hand in the face, we can do something more. We don't oh, have to do something yes. else. Uh -huh. yes. So it's a block beauty. Okay? I do palm strike. Okay? Careful. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, so that will take care of any attack go like this. Wing jump will yeah. do beauty. Yeah, all right. When you do beauty, your hand both in that position. So we don't want to just one hand and the other hand all the way down. You want both hands in front of us. Both hands. All the way can go right and left. If I do this, you beauty. I hit again, you can beauty. Yeah, it's like a block as well. The beauty, meaning use it for block. Also, can even use a finger for striking if you need to be self defense. I'm blocked it, I'm blocked it, I can hit, I can strike into his eye a little bit like that. It, it kind of, or I can slightly turn, don't give your finger, give you this part, this part here, to strike again the throat. Same move, same move, different use, right? That's the beauty. How's that? Yes? Yes, good. You see the form we have the part that here. Most yes. people see that finger, they thought they thought like a finger to the eye. No, that the that the small thing of, of the technique. The idea of this is from my hip and elbow. If I throw something right to the front, I have finger at one weapon. I have the side cut to a throw at another weapon. I have my palm hit him at the palm strike. So there are many weapons you can use, not just not just the finger. Right? So right, right. when you're comfortable right. like that, one hand block, you just go forward. That's why back to the day, when women learn or all the other people learn self-defense, very hard to block because you don't know exactly what that hand do, right? It could be a mm -hmm. finger, both people see it, but then you can see that and you see the hair pull, it, it changes it depend on, depend on, uh, on how to use it, right? On the first thing. Mm -hmm. Concept, it just, Okay, one hand block, go forward, and then you go from there, there, hold there, like that. Uh -huh. So that you can see the, 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 the upline of the tanso now become a long arm block. Good, like that. That's it, that's one to one. Okay, then the last one you do is with the little hip, the striking down here. Anything when people strike down here, it have a reason why. It could be because they do the front and then we'll re-block them with the tanda and then they strike you down here. That's the reason right. why they go like that. Okay? With that low, you have gap that low block. Good. So yes. So here is the thing. When you have your hand up in front, put your hand up in front. Okay, here's the rule. Your front hand, your front hand go right down to the block. The back hand hit. Yes, try that again. You have a front hand, use your front hand to block. Back hand to punch. This, good, okay. like that. Yeah, the front hand stop, back hand punch. So it's a beating of use right away whatever we have in the front, block. Good. All right, so when the can come in, like hook punch, you do that. Block and punch. Again, same thing, block and punch. Do that until, until both technique can come out almost natural both together to get to achieve that we go from slow first okay to get both hands low low block yeah 
Low. Low five. Good. Just like five. that. So low. Yeah. Upside. Very good. Upside. There. So that's the reflex you want to build off the wooden dummy. So beginning, I work one hand, but after I want, okay, they're both hands. The, the, the important is you can program it anytime. Okay, the person throw up the punt, he get both. He get a block, and he should get a, a punt at the same time. So he have no time to block out counter attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That good? Yeah. Oh, yes. Ganda. Yes. Ganda. 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 That's yeah. good. Both hand, both hand, both hand. Good. Right? Now, when you practice at home, you want to be, and then outside of those single technique, we have a couple of the flowing. So let's say somebody home pun, you throw the panda and you come forward. Three punch, elbow. So you want a couple of the flow like that, okay? So the flow be like that. Look at the, look at the chain punching. I do chain punch, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now you want to elbow your front hand. Wrap his neck, elbow. Very technical like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. My front now grab. Neck. Possible. Neck. One, two, three. Neck grab. Make sure that it's landing well. If we just do just the navel, then again, the change is we will move it away. So, mm -hmm. one, two, three. And neck pull to the elbow. Perfect. Now, yeah. you pay attention to what hand you end off. What hand you end with. Let's say you end with the left. Take your left hook and then elbow. Good. If you punch in, you land with your right hand. You end at your right, take your right hand. Okay? Yeah, do that because your your front hand is only convenient right to his neck. So if yes. I actually use your back hand to wrap him, it's slow. But the hand right yes. here to wrap the neck, as convenient as it's right there. Yes. So yes. When you, when you see. practice one, two, three, left hand, take left hand. Good. One, two, three. And with your right, take the right hand. Hold. Yes. Right. Perfect yes. like that, right? right? Yes, yes. So that's the combo after you hit the person, a few punches, pull him into the elbow. Good. Now, another thing that I want to add on this is, it, yeah, elbow come in. Now, after the elbow, normally after the elbow, Okay, hopefully that is, is it, 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 it not missing something going wrong. But if, if somehow when we elbow in and they blocked it, so now my elbow being blocked, then you go to add in your knee to help with that attack, right? Mm -hmm. Now, so when you elbow, this is logic, when you elbow with your right elbow, okay, which knee you can hit it? Exactly. Which knee? Yeah, right yeah. elbow. Yeah. What knee? What knee? If I said knee, which knee that you think is good? You probably would use your front one, but you're off balance, right? You'd have to use your front because okay. it's ahead, but you usually come from behind. Okay, so the logic right here. Why don't we hit something? We wrap it with elbow, right elbow. My body will turn this way. Now I don't put my left knee, I'm going to switch right to the other side. Then yeah. slowly, yeah. it'll take time. it takes take time right. to change from the right to the left. So with the wind chimes, yes. we're coming very close. So when I finish with your right elbow, I'm done. I'm adding my right knee together in the same oh. direction. I miss That's the same. elbow, and I will put down, I continue putting your right knee. Right knee, right. Uh -huh. right. Same side with the elbow. Same side with the elbow. So I already missed that. Imagine I already hit it, somehow we blocked it. All right? Then my next one will be the same knee to it. Same knee, okay. yeah. If I miss this one, now I turn back, I start using my left, it takes a lot of time it's too to long. From right to left. So too much time. Right, too much time. So in Wing Chun, we're very close. If I miss this, next one come right away with the same knee. Right away. So okay. I want you to practice like that. Left elbow, left knee fall. Yes. Follow. Right elbow, he catch me, right knee fall elbow. It's always like that. All right? Always the same. Always the same side because you save time rather than I do my left, I miss, then I turn back, <coughs> and then I have no time to prepare to change it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if we miss that, we just need to do that. Aha. Right, I see. We do pun, pun, pun. We wrap the elbow. Maybe he blocked, maybe he missed. Then he got my same knee come in. Oh, because the same your knee. body, 
already turned halfway, why not use it in uh, half the goal? Yes? yes? Right. I already turned it, why not continue with that one? You already need to have the circle. Right? Yeah. Ah. Yes, yes. So with the Wing Chun, with the Wing Chun, you think something like this. It could be thinking of the elbow here, but then when you do the same side, you feel not a lot of power there, right? Not a lot of power. So you yeah, are thinking yeah, like, maybe feel like a lot of power would be very good. Now the downside yeah. is we are very close in that fighting. So it is about timing, it's not about power, right? <laughs> who hit first, that's more important than who hit stronger. Yeah. So if I do that, yeah. say, come in, you got right on my elbow, stop him from, from, from catching you, and then from there, yeah. okay, you have a chance of get away. But if you mm -hmm. actually do this and then you reset, try to do this knee, then maybe too slow yeah. for you yeah. to change it. So why we yeah. practicing on that? You do that. Remember one more time, punch. Punch, 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 punch. Punch. the, the punch. end hand will be the hand wrap the neck. And the same and knee, like that. Same knee. You're going to work with that chain. Boom, boom, boom. Start with your left. Take your left and pull him in. Done. And then your body follow with the knee. All right. With the same. That knee, that knee leads are just the last one. It's not upward. The knee in Wing Chun never go upward. Because when you go upward, it, if he pushes it with our bottom. The okay. knee Wing Chun is just like you walk through his knee. Oh. So you don't lift. You don't lift like this. He will push you. No, you don't right? lift. You just Imagine walk. you lift and you walk his, to his knee. You walk. Oh. So when you come here, you see that. Okay. It, it is the bottom that walk my knee into him. This way, the hurt uh -huh. right to behind his leg. This knee just hit his leg. If nothing go high. Right. So it's different. So it's different. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, so different. you don't have. To, it's easier no, to do that, that too. That not the knee we learn in karate when you you knee up. No, this knee because you <laughs> here he blocked it and then you go right behind his leg. You actually walk and strike him behind mm -hmm. his leg around his area. Right. You're trying to strike. I see. That's it's a different knee. Yeah. Ah, that's a little so, That's yeah. why we don't need to lift. Okay. After I do this, my body already kind of miss. I just walk forward with my knee. Mark, yeah. yeah, I see. If we miss it's that different. and you lift your knee, you feel very unbalanced, isn't it? Yeah, that's why it's hard to lift it. Yeah, no. So you go down and they continue forward. That's it. Continue mm -hmm. forward. Ah, there forward. you go. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> like that. No stop is more. If you put up, you set it up back again, the wooden dummy, you can work a little bit on the wooden dummy. All right, those moves we just yeah. showed here, you can work in the air to get a little bit of concept. Okay. I will give you back a okay. video as well. Uh, and uh, hand uh, and uh, take that. The same thing. Work all those uh, concepts. Uh, right. Okay. Okay, Lisa? okay thank you. All yeah, right, we're good. Okay. All right, so I will see you next week. Okay, thank you, Lisa. All right. Get well soon. Thank you.